Howdy folks, this is Mr. Ramsey B, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. Alright, in the last episode, we came to Melmond, and um, it was so long ago I don't remember what else I said I was going to do. Uh, I did a little bit of level grinding off screen, not much, uh, I think I, I believe I gained one or two levels per character. Uh, so let's take a look real quick. We've got Warrior MRB, that's me, and we're at level 16. That kid, 12321, the thief, is level 16. Tesla Taco, 17. And Ultra Gamer is 17 as well. Alright. So, everyone here is telling us that we have to go over to the Earth Shrine because there's all sorts of nastiness going on. And in this area, we're going to come across cobras. Um, these, like, lizard-type things, and these ogres. Now, when we go over this way a little bit further, we we just crossed over into the next tier of enemies. We've got shadows, and we've got all manner of zombies. Um, they're not too difficult. Uh, pretty much as you've seen, we're one-shotting just about everything. And, uh, we like this. Well, a little bit of stutter there. That's all right. Okay, so today... Let me just... Okay, today... is Thursday, January 5th. This is day five of my... Uh, full year of videos. 2012 will be the year of the video! For MRB. Alright. And, uh... Yeah! So how's everyone doing? Not much has happened between today and yesterday, except that I did get recognized by my voice at work uh, yesterday, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, this says, I was talking to a gentleman and his son, um, and, and they actually recognized my voice. Apparently they, they were both fans and everything like that, and it was, that was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. So, here we have a cave. This is the Giant's Cave. I got a feeling... Uh oh. Yeah, just a bunch of wolves in here. I'm gonna use a magic spell, just take them out quick. Yeah. But the Giant's Cave, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna need something out of the dungeon one of the dungeons to do anything in this cave. Uh, now, it has been a very long time since I've been through here. You shall not pass! Alright, so, I guess that's that. What do we need to do, though? I don't quite remember. Ligers! Lesser Tiger. Alright. So, these guys... Pretty much wimps, just like everything else. Well, I guess not. If you're not... You know, we're a little bit over-leveled here. So... Oh, how do you do that whole B and hit select? Uh, R. Okay, so where we have to go to is right here. So... Took a wrong turn over there. Ah, I zagged when I should have zagged. Here we go. Alright, now we're down into the tail of the beast. Got some more shadows. Alright. Ah, yes. So, more levels for the people. And right here we entered the Earth Cave, the Cavern of Earth. Now, there are a ton of hot spots in this place. Excellent opportunity for grinding. Um, although there's one particular section, which I will point out, that you're not going to want to do it at now. You'll want to come back later on to get the present that it has in there. So in here, we've got ogres and chief ogres. And the Chief Ogres are a little bit more difficult. Uh, they do hit a little bit harder when they hit. See, that guy hit for 33. The other Ogres weren't hitting for anywhere close to that. 
They too, they can take a little bit more punishment. The the beautiful thing, though, with these guys, is their their uh, hit ratio is wicked low. So you don't really have to worry about them hitting you too hard too much, because they kind of can't. They're big, slow, and dumb. All right. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna throw a nose because that stuff costs us money. Whereas, Cure Spells do not cure up Ul Ultra Gamer and Tasteless Taco. Just a hair. Alright, heading along this way. Oh, we got a battle, and we have Helgigas and Lizards. There's not much difference uh, from these guys to their, their counterparts in later series. Um... Except in the later series, you know, they get a little bit more powers, uh, a little bit different abilities. Um, the Hill Gigas here hits like a truck. But he can't take all that much punishment, which is real nice. As you see, we defeated him without much da uh, danger. Okay, I think this is the beginning area for hotspots. So we're gonna finish off this battle and we're gonna head back the way we came. Because you won't really run into too, too many, like, real hot spots um, in this dungeon. This dungeon is supposed to be relatively simple and relatively easy. Um, this is actually right about on par with the, uh, the marsh cave down there a couple episodes ago. But, yep. Hello, Gigas. Guy Gigas, Gigas. Whatever you cannot you cannot comprehend the form of Gigas's true attack. Yep, these are hot spots. So that's definitely what's going on there. Alright, next round, if Ultra gets hit again, or if that kid gets hit again, um uh, Yeah, I might as well just throw a heal. Oh, Kira. Oh dang, I don't have a multi-targeting heal? Hey, okay, so yeah, we'll just we'll do that outside of battle then. Ow. Alright. Levels all the way around. Very nice. Forgive me, I'm still a little iffy on the controls because I haven't, you know, played the game in a long time due to the holiday season. Yeah. So I've got today off, and I've got tomorrow off. Minecraft server is, is good to go. I mean, we, we are definitely, we are 100% ready for users and players, and we have anacondas. They're not much different than their cobra cousins outside. Uh, these guys have a little bit more chance to poison you. Um, so if you don't have a white mage, like suppose you have a red mage, I definitely recommend grabbing some extra um, antidotes back in town. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about that because we're we should be pretty good. All right, we continue around this way. I'm just gonna go around and explore just about everywhere. Oh, we got a door with a couple chests and a hot spot. More anaconda. I think that's a hot spot. It might not be. I don't know. Whoa, Cobras! A bunch of them. These are the same guys as outside. They're weak. Pretty much all of my character, all of our guys here can one-shot them. Oh no! We've got a poison on the warrior! Alright, we'll have that taken care of in the next round. Oh, heal is multi-targeting, but none of it. None of the cures are. Oh! Okay. Well, that's no good. 
We're gonna... Poissona is the one I needed, not heal. Heal gives everybody a little bit back of health. Oi. Alright, an Earth Elemental. So. This guy's odds are he's gonna go down pretty easy. Technically a mini boss. But he's gone now. Antidote. And a bunch of money. Alright, we have a Minotaur! Alright, I'm gonna try not to go over 15 minutes for here. Um, you know, because I have noticed my longer videos are not getting as much... Um, as much hoopla as what would be nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep them between 10 and 15 minutes a shot. So, um, we're gonna start wrapping it up here. Oh, we got a knife. So please do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, tell your dog and your cat. Um, this has been Mr. Ramsey B. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. This has been 880 kill and a hotspot. Okay, we have another Earth Elemental. After the Earth Elemental has been awkward off. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like, uh, like Mr. Ramsey B on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Um, join me on Minecraft. Send that email. Get whitelisted. Whoa! He hit pretty hard. 117. Wow. Taco. Ultra. Cool. Levels all around. Alright, this has been Mr. Ramsey B saying have a good afternoon and be safe.